Super excited to visit right now with Sarah Manson, a very funny comedian from Sioux Falls, South Dakota. One of the comics from Last Comic Standing, Sioux Falls edition, happening Friday night at the district. And Sarah, you're you're not uh, new to the district. You're there quite a bit for your other stuff that you do, but you're fairly new to comedy, right? Yes, yes, that is very true. I do work at the district. So when I'm not doing comedy, I do artist hospitality, which means I take care of all the performers that come to the district. She gets to hobnob with all the celebrities, which is awesome. Yeah, very true. You get to meet some really neat people doing that, don't you? Yes, definitely. I have gotten to meet all my heroes doing that job, which is is great, actually. You know, they say don't meet your heroes, but I disagree. Everyone nice. I've met has been a wonderful person. Very, so. very cool. And and I like you. You've shared some of the writers where they have this weird thing or this little weird thing. I was saying for the, uh, the last comic standing, we should have all had a weird writer that we sent in. That would have been the best. I said I'm only fulfilling writers. You all get the reverse Van Halen. That's where you get the brown M&Ms and I get all the rest. <laughs> <laughs> that works for me. I'm a yeah. fan. So now how long have you been doing stand-up comedy? It's not a very long time, is it? No, it just hit a year, uh, the end of March. So it's just been a little over a year. I had a big birthday party, and it was my year celebration, and I had my first headlining show. So it was a huge deal. And there was a great turnout for that. I wish I could have been there. I had another obligation that night, but I I saw photos, and it was – I've seen you perform many times, and I love your comedy because you share stories from the heart. You share a lot of things that really happened to you. Those are so much fun for me because I think truth is stranger than fiction. There's some weird things that happen in this world, and you notice it. <laughs> Definitely for me. With all these with all these rock stars I hang out with, it's every day is a new adventure. <laughs> <laughs> and so the, the grand prize on Friday night for Last Comic Stand yes. is $1,000, and you have a good chance of winning that $1,000. There's only eight people, so you've got one in eight chance. And I've seen you tell tell jokes. I, I've heard your comedy. You're very funny. So you have just as good a chance as anybody, maybe even better than some. So what would you do if you won the $1,000, Sarah? Boy, I've been thinking about it. I know it's boring to say you'd pay bills, but <laughs> I think what I would do is I would go. So there is a comedy festival. It's the first one I ever did. It's oh. called Rest Fest. And this year it's in Missouri. It is like a it's like a three day journey to get there. Okay. And last year, uh, four of us went and it was much closer. But I think I would I would take some comedians and we would go to Rest Fest this year in Missouri with it. Rest like R.E.S.T. Like I'm, I'm a restroom it, rest. It, it is. OK, here's it's. It's crazy. It's a pop-up comedy festival that they do at a random rest stop. So it's like it's like at a rest stop. You know, those big ones that have like the welcome centers in them and stuff. But I mean, this is like guerrilla comedy. It's yeah. like a whole bunch of comedians show up at this like secret rest stop location and then we just do a big old comedy festival there in a day. That's, it's that crazy. Is, that is weird. You know what? I didn't even know that was a thing. So now I kind of want to go to that. <laughs> You can come. Well, if I win the thousand bucks, let's get a little bus and we'll go, John. See, now we just need to get, we need to have all of the comedians to, to sign a pact that, that if I win, I'm splitting with you guys. And if you win, you're splitting with me. See, wouldn't that be fun? <laughs> Yeah, well, we just all have to go to Rest Fest together. There you that's go. See, that's the plan. Uh, so, again, <laughs> Sarah Manson is who we're talking with right now. She is a comedian from Sioux Falls. And, again, you've only been doing sure. this for a year. And think about how many people have been doing comedy far longer than that that submitted videos that were not selected as one of the eight. That's got to make you feel really, really good. It does. It really, really does. I have found comedy uh, before before I was doing comedy, I was doing theater and this community has been so supportive. I, I felt very supported in theater. And when I started doing comedy, it was the same thing. I feel like I have just really had so many local venues and fellow comedians that have supported me and brought me up in this kind of community that it, it's just such a positive experience for all of us. One of the things that I would say is different about comedy compared to theater or even like being in a band, being on stage, no matter what it is, is very exhilarating, but it's completely Mm -hmm. different when you're up there with a whole group of people that are doing improv or a whole group of people who are in the cast of a play or a whole group of people that are in the band. When you're up there by yourself, one person, and you're not reading, you know, pre-scripted things from somebody else that was in a play, these are your words coming from your experiences and your stories. There's something about that that's just so different, but to me, it's so amazing. 
It really is. I think it's people say, isn't that, aren't you terrified and have stage fright? And I say, no, it's the opposite for me because when I'm on stage in theater, I have like eight other people on stage that are counting on me to say my line. And if I don't say it, they're all in trouble. But when I'm up on stage alone, I don't have that fear because if I screw up a joke, I'm the only one that's affected by that. So, (laughs) you know, I just, I, I, I don't find it as stressful as theater for me. I get up on stage and I just start talking to the audience, you know? Nice. And when, when you're on stage, it, people get scared. But when I get on stage, I feel the love coming from everyone in that audience because Absolutely. they want you to succeed. They want you to tell jokes. They want to laugh, you know? So Absolutely. I just find it, I find it, I'm comfortable up there and I can feel how much everybody wants to go on that journey with me. Well, I can tell you're comfortable and I'm excited to see you Friday night at the district. Sarah, thank you for your time. Thank you so much, John. It's been an honor. Absolutely. Again, Sarah Manson, and she is one of the comics at Last Comic Standing, Sioux Falls Edition. It's at the District in Sioux Falls, and you can find all of the information at facebook.com slash Sioux Falls Comedy.